Hello world, welcome back to the Razor RC and we're doing the full review of the Traxxas Stampede 4x4 Brushless Edition. So this is essentially a 2.0 or V2 version of the original Traxxas Stampede 4x4, which I also had. So uh, this is actually my third Traxxas Stampede. My very first RC car was a Stampede 4x4 VXL. So I was super excited to pick one of these up. It's been out for about four months now. Sells for about $330 at the time of this video. Uh, here in the US, we will have a link in the description below if you want to pick one of these up uh, that does support the channel, but do whatever you like to do, pick this up at your local hobby shop or wherever. Uh, but the way this review works is we go through six different categories, giving a rating from one to five stars, and it is graded on a curve. So three stars means it's average within all those other four by four, one ten scale monster trucks, five stars would be best in class, and one star would be obviously worst in class. Uh, other competitors to the Stampede 4x4 are going to be things like the Team Associated Rival MT-10 V2, the Arma Granite 4x4 3S BLX V3, so uh, even a couple things like maybe the Traxxas Stampede VXL, which is like a higher grade version, a faster version of this, but kind of based on an older design, and then maybe things like the Traxxas Haas. Um, so yeah, let's get into the review. First category is the electronics, and the Traxxas Stampede comes with this, the TQ radio. This is their very base model radio. Um, I'm not a big fan of this, I'll be honest with you. It does have a nice foam wheel and a pretty basic trigger, uh, but it only has one adjustment, which is steering trim. So all you can do is adjust to make sure the car goes straight. It doesn't have dual rate. It doesn't have any other adjustment. So uh, to that effect, I do think it's way too basic. Actually, not a uh, you know, particularly good radio, in my opinion. Pulling off the body. Kind of the meat of the vehicle is the new Traxxas BL2S brushless motor and ESC combination. So this is a 2S capable ESC and motor. Uh, it is brushless, so this is essentially a replacement for their older brushed system. So brushless, the advantage of that is a little bit more reliable. It generally has more power, uh, just a better system overall. It doesn't require any maintenance or anything like that. So it is nice that they did update that. Uh, it comes with the Traxxas 2075. Uh, servo, which is a plastic geared servo, uh, fairly slow, fairly weak, fairly prone to damage, um, and then it does come with the TQ receiver. So, in my opinion, yeah, I'm not a big fan of the electronics, like I said about the radio. TQ radio is not a great radio. This brushless system for a $330 RC car is very slow. Uh, top speed on this is about 23 miles per hour. It's not too bad compared to their old brushed. Uh, system that they used to have in these vehicles but compared to other things like the rival mt10 or the armor grant this is about half the speed of what you're going to get on those other vehicles uh, the servo again i do think is pretty poor plastic gear it is waterproof which is nice but very slow uh, kind of weak and just not a good system overall so overall in the electronics category, I am going to give it a one star rating. I would say this has actually got the worst electronics of all those other vehicles I mentioned. Um, it's just slow, no features. Uh, it's, just, it's just not a quality system. And I wouldn't mind so much if this were priced according to like other brush systems, other brushed vehicles are more in like the $250 range, but this is 330. It matches up against the big boys from Arma and Team Associate. And in that effect, it definitely has the worst electronics. The Stampede 4x4 brushless is kind of an all new design. They did put in a bunch of nice upgraded plastic parts. So the shock tires are all new, all these blue, uh, you know, steering knuckles and spindles and stuff. Rear hubs are all new. So they did beef up the uh, plastics on this. The drive shafts are all new. So this is pretty durable. They went uh, kind of extra in revising this platform. They also am using the Haas chassis rather than the original Stampede 4x4 VXL chassis. So uh, the Haas chassis is a little bit nicer because it is longer um, definitely more durable a little bit more modern it has a really nice body mount system where uh, basically this body tucks in underneath on the front shock tire and then you got a clip here on the back which snaps onto the rear shock tire makes it a breeze to get the body on and off so that's pretty cool uh, overall design is pretty good. I'm a fan of the, tra uh, you know, the Traxxas 4x4 lineup. I've had many Traxxas 4x4s and they all have, you know, a pretty modular design, easy to work on, a lot of upgrades. Uh, probably the only thing I don't like is the battery strap system. So uh, it is designed for 2S, so a 2S pack will fit fine. But if you want to run a bigger pack, um, it just doesn't really fit quite right. So, uh, you know, if you go 3S at some point, a 3S pack is not going to fit all that well. I mean, it fits fine for a 2S, but once you 
take this out, uh, you really have no space for a 3S system. And some people say, oh, well, you could just flip the battery strap upside down. But as you can see, it really doesn't tuck in correctly. It comes in at a weird angle and actually you can just pop it off by hand. Whereas the correct, you know, motion uh, when you snap in the battery strap it is supposed to be nice and straight and it cannot come out by itself. So, uh, yeah, it's not really designed to be, you know, putting in uh, upside down battery straps. So not a fan of that. Uh, the plastic shocks, again, I'm probably not a fan of. These are very small bore shocks. They are all plastic. They do have a tendency to bend the drive shafts and occasionally pop off the shock cap. So a little bit of weakness there. But overall, the design, I think, is actually pretty good. It is modular. It is easy to work on. A lot of upgrades has a slipper clutch you know you can even swap that out for a center differential so a lot of nice tunability even the shocks and stuff do have a lot of mounts here on the arms uh, on the shock tower so a uh, really good design i think overall so i'm gonna give it above rating average rating in the design category we're gonna give it four stars uh one of the stronger points for sure of the traxxas lineup uh is their four by four design and i think it's pretty good So like I mentioned, uh, this thing is fairly slow. 23 miles per hour on 2S is quite slow. The other vehicles on are 3S capable, and on 3S they're gonna be more in like the 43 to 48 mile per hour range. So this is really the half the speed. Even if you run those things on three, uh, 2S, you're gonna get in the, at least the 30s. So this thing is fairly slow. I do think the servo is quite weak. Uh, it steers very slow. Shocks are okay. You know, they actually perform reasonably well, not particularly durable. But I gotta say, you know, at least the damping and spring-wise, they're actually okay. These are the sledgehammer tires, so another update to the Stampede lineup is they did go to the Haas stamp, uh, sledgehammer tires, which provide better traction for sure than the old Talon tires. They're decent tires, you know, they don't tear off or anything. They're pretty durable. Uh, they don't balloon too much, and that traction is okay. But in the performance category, because it is so slow, it doesn't steer particularly well, I'm gonna give it a below average rating. It doesn't mean it's like a terrible RC car. It just means like, compared to what else you can buy, this is slower and lower performing than those other vehicles. So I'm gonna give it two stars in the performance category. Again, uh, just not that great compared to what else you can buy. The Traxxas 4x4 lab is actually pretty durable, and with this new body, it does have a nice, like, integrated roll cage, so a huge improvement over the old Stampede body, which did have a tendency to break very easily. The chassis, I think, is also pretty good. Uh, another redesign is they did change out the uh, bumper style, so this, you know, is a little bit more durable than the old one. Shocks are a little bit of a weak point, um, but the chassis is great. The new drive shafts, all these new blue plastics are a huge upgrade over the old one, so I'd say overall, this is actually a pretty durable vehicle it just doesn't go all that fast so um you know i think that <laughs> affects the durability the slower you go obviously the fewer things you're going to break but in the durability category i'm actually going to give it above uh, average rating i'm going to give it four stars no real weaknesses except maybe these shocks that is one thing i do recommend you probably want to look at um you know but the system seems pretty good overall and uh definitely above average The best thing about owning a Trax is it is easy to get parts. Here in the US, pretty much every hobby shop will carry Traxxas parts because it is basically the most popular brand, at least within the bashing segment. So this platform has been around for you know over a decade. Very easy to get parts. Everyone knows how to work on these things. Uh, you can upgrade things. You know Everyone knows what breaks easily. So sh hobby shops are going to carry the spare parts for common breakages like the shock shafts or arms and stuff. So uh, it is great to own a Traxxas if you're new because you can fix this very quickly, very easily. Ports are never out of stock. So I think that's really the strength of the Traxxas Stampede 4x4. It is easy to get parts. It is pretty easy to work on. Everybody knows how to work on this and you know, inventory is great across the board. So within the support category, I'm gonna give it five stars. Maintenance, everything is actually pretty good. And in terms of the warranty, uh, electronics are only uh, warranted for 30 days and the rest of the vehicle, pretty much nothing. So uh, if you buy one of these, I do recommend testing out right away. Don't wait a month before you test it because if it turns out your electronics have a problem, you're not gonna be able to get a replacement. So, uh, but other than that, uh, I think the support mains on this thing is excellent. Stampede sells for $330 here in the US. 
That's quite a bit for a 110 scale electric monster truck that isn't particularly fast. Now, other competitors of this are gonna be the Armored Grant, which sells for $330, the Rival MT-10, which sells for $340. So they're pretty much all priced within $10 of each other, but those are much more capable vehicles, much faster. They go 3S, they have better servos, they have better radios. Um, they're going, you know, 43 to 48 miles per hour. So in terms of what you're getting and what you're paying for, I do think this is a little bit down. I would say actually uh, there are some good things about this, which is that it is made in Taiwan. Those other vehicles are all made in China. I think the quality control on the tracks and stuff is a little bit better, but electronics are pretty much worse in class. The radio, motor, EC combination, the servo, all these things, you know, pretty much bring it down in terms of the value. And that price just doesn't reflect it. You know, if this were $299, I could kind of see that. I think that'd be a good price point. I know this is kind of meant more as a replacement for the original brush stampede, but they raised the price. It's not any faster, and you could argue it's really not much better except for these plastic parts, which honestly should just come stock on every vehicle at this point. I don't know why some do and some don't. Um, they really should just come standard since, you know, they're being made already. So uh, in the value category, I am going to give it a one star rating it's just not a good value in terms of what you're paying for and what you're actually getting and so to that effect yes one star in the value category That's kind of a, an overview of the Traxxas Stampede 4x4, uh, you know, brushless. And I have to admit, I've got a bit of a soft spot towards this platform because this was my first RC car, the original VXL. Uh, and they do have a lot of nice updates. I do like that they updated all the shocks and, or I'm sorry, the shock towers, all the blue plastic parts and stuff. I do like that they went to brushless, which is an improvement over the brush motor stuff. Brush motors tend to kind of wear out and things like that. But I do wish they had put in a better power system. So it is 2S capable. Unfortunately, you know even like the you know battery or uh, motor connector here on the ESC to motor is a propriety thing so swapping out the ESC is not really something you can do swapping out the motor is not something you can do because they just won't connect so uh, I think that's kind of weird I think what they were trying to do is just kind of go with a more budget uh, power system or replace their brush thing I mean this motor is only like 40 bucks so this is very budget it actually has an integrated fan within the motor I think this motor is actually undersized for this platform it tends to run uh, okay temperature wise but that's only because it's got a fan in there and then uh, once you gear it up which is something you might want to do a video on that um, it just tends to run hot so this motor already is taxed I think within this platform it barely runs cool with an ingrid fan so uh, you know you can definitely tell that they cut some corners there in the power system so I wish they had put in a real 3s system I wish this battery tray could accept a 3S battery correctly. Um, I think then it would actually be a pretty good value, but because everything on this is so budget, I mean, even the shocks are pretty wimpy, pretty old school. They're designed back in the 90s. So um, that's just kind of, you know, my overview of the Stampede. I think they could have done more. I'm glad that they did make some changes and improved, but it's kind of slots into this weird spot where the Haas, you know, is based off the same platform, but doesn't have all the upgrades on the plastics, but it has a way better power system, way better electronics. Um, uh, better radio everything and then it's like you know $150 more or so so or $100 more so I'm not really sure what they're exactly going with this here um, but they are competing against some pretty good vehicles out there in the Arma Grant and Rival MT-10 and I feel like they didn't quite you know bring it uh, this time around so uh, who would I recommend this for really the one strength I think of this platform is it is a very good beginner vehicle it's pricey but uh, if you buy this as your first RC car I think you're gonna have an, a you know pretty reasonably decent time uh, but it's not gonna be something that I think will excite an adult just because it's so slow and so someone who buys this you know for a kid I think it's fine but if you're an adult and buying this and driving this yeah it's gonna be fun for the first few days but you're gonna immediately want a bigger power system you want to upgrade the servo maybe upgrade the radio and by the time you kind of upgrade all those components you're probably dumping in another two hundred dollars in this rc car and then you bring this whole you know package up to about 530 dollars and at that price point you're really looking at things more like the max v2 which is going to be way better faster durable everything out of the box and this is you know even after you upgrade so 
Anyways, that's my thoughts on the Traxxas Stampede 4x4 brush list. I do think they need to bring the price down a little bit. I do wish they had, you know, supplied a better motor or at least some better shocks or better servo or something. The TQI radio is, the, you know, there's sort of mid-level uh, radio, which is a little bit better. But um, they cut a lot of corners and, you know, it's, it's really meant, I guess, as an entry-level vehicle. But pricing-wise, it is, you know, up there with all the other more expensive vehicles. So, uh, anyways, those are my thoughts on the Stampede 4x4 brush list. Uh, let me know what you think. Are you getting one of these? Are you think about giving me these. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like and share subscribe buttons. Uh, don't forget to uh, look for more videos soon. Thanks for watching.